Good morning. This is Melinda Rose Eady, and today we're going to be talking about food and nutrition. Now, when we think about food and nutrition, keep in mind that you literally are what you eat. The first term that we're going to learn about is nutrients. Nutrients are substances in food that supply energy and materials that are used for growth, repair, and maintenance. Some examples of nutrients are water, carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, and minerals. Water is your most important nutrient. Your body will surf suffer permanent damage without if you don't get water for three days. The reason that your body will suffer permanent damage is that water is used as a medium for your body's processes. Now, most adults need to drink at least one liter of water a day. That, that's half of a two liter. Um, but a lot of the water you get from food, um, so you don't need to drink a full liter of water a day because a lot of the water that you get is from your food. Carbohydrates are the main source of energy for the body. Carbohydrates are made up of monosaccharides and disaccharides. The monosaccharides are simple sugars and they are used mostly for energy. Disaccharides and polysaccharides are complex sugars that are used for long-term storage or as building blocks. Fiber is a complex sugar called cellulose that humans cannot break down. Another nutrient is fats. Fats are used for long-term energy storage. They're made of fatty acids and glycerol. Fats are required to, for life. This is because in the body they're used to build cell membranes the myelin sheaths around your nerves, and hormones. In addition, on a macroscopic level, fat protects your body, so if you were to say fall, um, the fat cushions your organs and cushions your bones. Also, fat helps keep you warm, which up here in the northern United States is very important. There are two types of fats that you hear about on a regular basis, unsaturated fats and saturated fats. Unsaturated fats are generally liquid at room temperature, so things like olive oil, vegetable oil. These tend to be better for your heart and health in general. The other type of fats are, sa are saturated fats. And compared to unsaturated fats, saturated fats are usually solid at room temperature. So think about butter. You do need some saturated fats um, to be healthy, but it can be bad for your heart if you eat too much saturated fat. The next nutrient we're going to talk about is proteins. Proteins are used extensively as a building material. Proteins are made up of amino acids. Uh, proteins make up the majority of your skin and muscle tissue. Proteins are also the building blocks of enzymes which allow the body to function. The final thing that proteins do is they make up certain hormones that act as chemical messengers throughout the body. Now, calories are a unit of energy that we use to describe um, how energy is used within the body. Carbohydrates, fats, and proteins can all be used as a form of energy. Fats have the highest amount of energy per weight. So in fats, you can get nine calories of energy per gram of fat. Proteins and carbohydrates are less energy dense, and you can get four gr calories per gram. The next two nutrients that we're going to talk about can't be used for energy, but are required for life. Minerals are inorganic nutrients needed by the body in small amounts. For the most part, they're used in building structures and maintaining normal body functions. Some examples include iron, calcium, sodium, and potassium. Vitamins, on the other hand, are organic molecules that regulate body processes. If, you, if people are eating diets that are missing vi vitamins, they can become seriously ill, and if those vitamins are not replaced, people can actually die from vitamin deficiencies. There are two types of vitamins, the water-soluble vitamins and the fat-soluble vitamins. Water-soluble vitamins can't be stored in the body, so you have to consume water-soluble ones every day. Some examples of vitamins include of water-soluble vitamins include the B vitamins, 
and vitamin C. Now there's not just one B vitamin, it turns out there's quite a few different B vitamins. These are examples of water soluble vitamins. It's important that they're consumed daily, or at least on a regular basis, but the good news is it's hard to take too much of. Um, I saw that a juice brand that I picked up to make some jelly out of had marked on it that in each serving you can get 130% of your daily needs of vitamin C. That's okay because your body can get rid of the excess vitamin C through urine production. On the other hand, the fat soluble vitamins like vitamins A, D, E, and K are stored within the fat tissue of your body. It's important that you consume these regularly, but not necessarily every day. The bad news is too much of these can kill you. Um, in fact, Arctic explorers ran into problems because when they would kill a polar bear, um, they would end up eating the liver of the polar bear, and the liver of polar bears have exceptionally high vitamin A levels, and that actually can kill, and did kill, um, explorers in the Arctic. The last thing we're going to do today is overview, have an overview of the vitamins that I expect you to be able to recognize. Vitamin A is needed for normal vision and skin health. In fact, one of the leading causes of blindness in the developing world is the absence of vitamin A. Vitamin B9 is important. Um, the other name for vitamin B9 is folic acid. And the reason folic acid is very important is it allows the normal formation of the neural tube, which turns into the brain and, and spine of embryos. Um, so if you're a woman um, who's thinking about getting pregnant, it's very important to make sure you're getting enough folic acid because the neural tube develops um, between the fourth and sixth week of pregnancy, which a lot of times is before a woman realizes she's pregnant. Vitamin C is needed for healthy blood vessels, skin, and hair. The absence of vitamin C can cause a disorder called scurvy, um, which is pretty dangerous, although nowadays easily treated with extra vitamin C. Vitamin D is important because it allows your body to absorb calcium for your diet. Your heart needs calcium to function properly, and your body's bones need calcium um, to keep their form. Vitamin E is needed for gamete production, so production of egg and sperm, healthy nerves, and normal iron levels. Vitamin K promotes blood clotting. That's the end of our lecture for today. Thank you for listening, and I hope you have a wonderful day.